Welcome to the X Project podcast. This is a podcast of the X Project Substack. To subscribe, please go to thexproject.substack.com. The end of the world is just the beginning. Mapping the Collapse of Globalization. A summary of the book written by Peter Zion, 2022. Article number 28, published January 24th, 2024. In this article, the X Project will answer these questions. Why this book and what's it about? Who is the author? How popular is the book? What is one of the top takeaways from the book? What is another top takeaway? What is the third top takeaway? What is the fourth top takeaway? What is the fifth top takeaway? What does the X Project guy have to say? And finally, why should you care? Section one, why this book and what's it about? In an era where the global order seems as malleable as clay, Peter Zihan's The End of the World is Just the Beginning emerges as a guiding beacon, dissecting the complexities of our world with the precision of a surgeon. Why this book? Because in the labyrinth of commodities, economics, and geopolitics, Zion offers not just a map, but a GPS. This book isn't just about understanding the present, it's about predicting the future. Zion, with his characteristic flair, paints a picture of a world standing on the precipice of monumental change. The book dives into how the post-World War II global order, underpinned by free trade and American military might, is eroding. It's not just a book, it's a prophecy, forecasting a world where traditional alliances crumble, economic norms are turned on their heads, and geopolitical landscapes undergo seismic shifts. When the X Project originally launched its service, it started by identifying the 10 most influential books read in 2022 or before, along with the 10 most influential books read in 2023. The reason for starting with an original list of 20 books to review and summarize was to set the foundation for the X Project's perspective. This is the 15th book on the list of 20. Section two, who is the author? Newer subscribers may be unaware, but Peter Zion is a geopolitical strategist who is the author of four books, all of which made the X Project's list of top 20 most influential books. The three books covered thus far are The Accidental Superpower, The Absent Superpower, and Disunited Nations in Article Number 7, Article Number 12, and Article Number 18, respectively. Each of those articles has a different and longer biography of Peter Zion that you can check out. In addition to his books, Zion is a prolific content generator on YouTube. The X Project covered his views on China from several YouTube videos in the article number 25, The Dragon's Descent, China's Demographic Disaster and Imminent Collapse. Section 3. How popular is the book? Here are the book's rankings on Amazon. Number 20 in Political Trades and Tariffs. Number 28 in Globalization. Number 89 in Government Management. Customer Reviews, 4.6 out of 4,412 ratings. This is the second most popular book on the X Project's list after Ray Dalio's Principles for Dealing with the Changing World Order, Why Nations Succeed and Fail, covered in article number 24. Section 4. What is one of the top takeaways from the book? 
commodities and global trade. It's clear that the erosion of global trade networks will fundamentally alter how nations access and value commodities. He posits that countries currently dependent on global supply chains for essential resources like oil, rare earth metals, and even basic agricultural products will face significant challenges. This shift could lead to a resurgence in local production methods, but at a higher cost and potentially lower efficiency. The crux of Zion's argument lies in the acknowledgement that nations historically reliant on imports for their economic and industrial growth will have to rapidly adapt to a new, a new reality of self-sufficiency or seek new, less stable trade alliances. Moreover, Zion argues that the changing landscape of global trade will lead to a realignment of geopolitical power. Countries like the United States, with its vast natural resources, stand to gain a significant strategic advantage. In contrast, resource-poor nations, particularly those in regions like Europe and East Asia, could find themselves in a precarious position, having to navigate a new world order where resource diplomacy becomes a key tool in international relations. This would redefine global alliances and potentially spark conflicts over resources, reminiscent of historical struggles, but in a modern context. Section five, what is another top takeaway? Demographic dilemmas. Zion's analysis of demographic trends underscores a pivotal force reshaping the global economic and political landscape. He notes that while Western nations grapple with aging populations and a shrinking workforce, countries in Africa and parts of Asia face the opposite challenge, a burgeoning youth population. This demographic divide will have profound implications on global labor markets, potentially leading to, a, to significant shifts in where and how companies operate. Developed nations might face labor shortages, pushing them towards automation and AI, while developing nations could struggle with high unemployment rates, potentially leading to social unrest. Furthermore, Zion highlights how demographic shifts will influence global migration patterns. As developed nations seek to address labor shortages, policies around immigration could become a central political issue. This might lead to a paradoxical situation where countries with historically stringent immigration policies may find themselves competing to attract foreign workers. The impact on global economics is significant. Shifts in labor force dynamics could lead to changes in consumer markets, innovation trends, and even the global balance of economic power. Zion's analysis suggests that Understanding demographic trends is crucial for predicting the future of global economies. Section six, what is the third top takeaway? Energy and geopolitics. In his deep dive into energy, Zion predicts a future where energy resources dictate geopolitical strategies. He argues that the transition towards renewable energy sources will not be uniform across the globe leading to significant disparities in energy independence. Countries rich in renewable resources like solar and wind, or those with the technological prowess to leverage the, these resources effectively, will gain significant geopolitical leverage. This shift could decrease the geopolitical influence of traditional oil-rich nations, fundamentally altering long-standing power dynamics. Zion also warns of the potential for new forms of energy conflicts. As nations compete for dominance in renewable energy technologies and resources, this competition could replace the oil-centric conflicts of the 20th century. He foresees a world where control over rare earth elements and technological supremacy in renewables could become central to national security strategies. 
This new energy landscape could lead to alliances and conflicts based on energy resource availability and technology access, making energy policy a central pillar of national security. Section 7. What is the fourth top takeaway? Government debt, deficits, and the global economy. Zion's discussion on government debt and deficits is particularly prescient in light of the potential collapse of the post-World War II global order. He suggests that as international trade diminishes, nations will struggle with reduced economic growth, leading to ballooning deficits and unsustainable debt levels. This crisis could be exacerbated by aging populations in developed countries, where increased spending on health care and pensions, coupled with reduced tax revenues due to a shrinking workforce, could lead to fiscal insolvency. Moreover, Zion argues that the fiscal crisis will challenge the very role of government in economies. As nations grapple with limited resources and economic contractions, the possibility of widespread social unrest and political instability increases. This could lead to reevaluating the, the, the welfare state model and potentially foster a shift towards more protectionist and inward looking economic policies. Zion's analysis indicates that understanding fiscal policy and government debt will be crucial for navigating the economic turbulence ahead. Section 8. What is the fifth top takeaway? Interest rates, markets, and money. In his analysis of finance, Zion forecasts a tumultuous future for markets and monetary systems. He suggests that the decline in global trade and shifting geopolitical power structures will lead to increased market volatility. Countries will find it increasingly difficult to maintain the balance of their currencies, leading to fluctuations that could have far-reaching implications for international trade and investment. This instability could prompt a reassessment of global financial systems and potentially lead to new forms of international monetary cooperation or competition. Zion also delves into the role of interest rates in this new economic landscape. He posits that as governments struggle with fiscal challenges, interest rates will become even more critical tools for economic management. However, the effectiveness of traditional monetary policy tools may be limited in a world where global financial systems are under strain. This could lead to innovative approaches to monetary policy and a rethinking of the role of central banks. Zion's analysis suggests that understanding the interplay between monetary policy, interest rates, and global markets will be key to navigating the economic challenges of the future. Section nine. What does the X project guy have to say? First, I want to thank all subscribers, mostly free and some paid, who have signed up thus far. Gaining additional subscribers every day at this point is a strong vote of confidence that continues to propel the X project forward. Substack tells me that nearly two thirds of you have a four star or five star activity rating, meaning you are consistently engaging with my content, which is great. Please hit the heart icon indicating you like the article. The more likes I get, the more Substack will promote my content within the Substack community. If you don't like my content or have any suggestions, please email me at thexprojectguy at gmail.com. Second, this book was one of the most influential of all the books I read and certainly one of the most enjoyable. One of the things that I liked most about it is how Zion pulled together nearly all of the X Project's topics of focus into one cohesive narrative. It laid the foundation for many of the investment themes to which the X Project subscribes based on emerging new longer term secular trends. And despite all of the disruptive changes and challenges to be expected, Zion's outlook for the United States is generally positive and bullish.
In the final section, I will reveal other reasons why you should care about the future as described by this book, and more importantly, what you can do about it. However, the X Project now requires you to be a paid subscriber to view the final section. In a few articles, the paywall will move up within the article so that only paid subscribers will see the last two sections, or rather, free subscribers will only see the first eight sections. I will be moving the paywall up every few weeks, so ultimately free subscribers will only see the first four or five sections of each article. Please consider a paid subscription. All paid subscriptions starting in January will come with a free 30-day trial, and you can cancel at any time. Every month, for the cost of two cups of coffee, the X Project will deliver two articles per week, helping you know in one to two hours of your time per month what you need to know about our changing world at the intersection of commodities, demographics, economics, energy, geopolitics, government debt and deficits, interest rates, markets, and money. You can also earn free paid subscription months by referring your friends. If your referrals sign up for a free subscription, you get one month of free paid subscription for one referral, six months of free paid subscription for three referrals, and 12 months of free paid subscription for just five referrals. So please refer your friends. Thank you. This concludes the X Project's podcast number 28. Please subscribe to the X Project Substack at thexproject.substack.com.